A new study claims a chemical linked to cancer has been found in some popular oat-based breakfast foods. The nonprofit Environmental Working Group says that 26 samples contained unsafe levels of a popular weed killer. But the companies who make the cereals dispute the findings. Anna Werner has the story. There's really no reason consumers should have to worry about whether they're getting a dose of glyphosate with their breakfast every morning. That was the Environmental Working Group's Scott Faber in August, talking about a study his group commissioned that found the weed killer glyphosate in dozens of breakfast products. We're very concerned that consumers are eating more glyphosate than they know. Now, a second round of testing shows 28 more samples analyzed contain glyphosate residues, 10 samples from General Mills Cheerios products, and 18 samples from Quaker brand products ranging from instant oatmeal to snack bars. 26 of the samples came back with residue levels higher than what the group believes is safe for children. So what does it mean for you that glyphosate residues are found in such a wide range of products? Well, the Environmental Working Group says glyphosate shouldn't be there, that it may not be safe for your health. Manufacturers look at it differently. General Mills says trace amounts of pesticides are found in the majority of food we all eat, and the company follows the very strict rules set by the FDA and EPA, who determine the safe levels for food products. Quaker told us that any minimal levels of glyphosate that may remain in finished products are significantly below regulatory limits and well within compliance of the safety standards. But the World Health Organization says glyphosate is a probable carcinogen in humans, and the state of California lists it as a chemical known to the state to cause cancer. I find the results of this report concerning. Dr. Philip Landrigan, a pediatrician and one of the world's experts on children's environmental health, advises parents to move away from brands containing glyphosate and buy organic products for their children that do not contain the chemical. Children are exquisitely vulnerable to toxic chemicals such as glyphosate. Even a tiny dose that would probably be harmless to an adult carries much greater risk for a child. Monsanto, which sells products containing glyphosate, says the study is misleading. It says the chemical is safe and does not cause cancer, and that adults would have to eat huge quantities of these foods every day to exceed the EPA's limit for glyphosate exposure. General Mills says food safety is a top priority, and Quaker stands by its products. Anna Werner, CBS News, New York.